Hey dudes, I'm going to show you how to record your desktop for free using OBS Studio. The first thing you need to do is configure OBS before you record. In order to do that, you can go to File, Settings, or you can just click here. Click it, and we just need to change the settings so we can get started on recording. First thing you need to change is the output. So let's go to the streaming part. I want the video bitrate to be 10,000, which is kilobytes per second. You can change the bitrate depending on how powerful your computer is. I recommend 10,000 kilobytes per second for 720p video, 20,000 kilobits per second for 1080p video, or you want to go 2K or 4K, you need to go higher than that. Also, you need a more powerful computer to record in those resolutions. If your computer is not powerful enough, you can always go lower than 10,000 kilobytes per second. Just make sure it's high enough that it looks good, but low enough that you can actually record the footage. The higher the bitrate, the higher the quality, but also the bigger the file. Lower the bitrate, the lower the quality, the smaller the file. So let's change the audio bitrate to 192, or I can go to 320, but I want the audio bitrate to be 192 because I don't want the video to be too big as well and I'm gonna change the recording path into a folder in the videos folder I'm going to browse for it I'm going to choose the recording folder because that makes sense right and select that folder and now any recorded videos using OBS studio will go in this folder I want the recording quality to be same as stream so it looks almost identical almost depending on your bitrate of course but you can choose these settings as well but I recommend just going to same as stream I'm going to change the recording format to mp4 because mp4 is the most reliable one of all the formats here then I'm gonna click apply to apply the settings you always need to click the apply button to apply all the settings now let's go to audio and I want the sample rate to be 44 kilohertz by default Click that apply, let's go to video, and I want the base canvas, which is the whole screen actually. And I want the output scaled canvas as 720p. Since my laptop monitor is too low for a 1080p video, I might as well go for 720p. So 720p is 1280, oops, 1280x resolution by 720. There we go. I can go change the downscale filter, but I'm gonna leave it as is and the common FPS values to be 30. If your computer is more powerful than that, you can always go to 60. And click apply and click OK. And now you're ready to make your first recording in OBS. First off, you need to make a scene. Wait, <laughs> you don't need to make a scene. You don't need to make a tantrum over this. I mean scene, in OBS. A scene is a collection of sources in which all of them create a video. Well, a recording, actually. I'm gonna change the scene to rename that. Right click and rename. And I want to change it to rec record desktop. Okay, and just remember, scenes are just a group of sources, so you need to add sources to make the scenes actually work. Now let's add a source. We need to add a source that records the desktop. So I'm going to click the plus button and I'm gonna choose display capture. Change the name of the display capture to desktop because that makes sense, right? And click OK. Now, since the display is just my laptop, I can also record a second screen, but since I don't have a second screen, here I go. And yes, I want to capture the cursor because I want to make a tutorial video like what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Click OK. And now you're ready to record. All you need is to click Start Recording. And let's go and open Explorer. So while we're doing a tutorial, we can make a tutorial within a tutorial. Wouldn't that be nice, right? Yeah. So. You do your stuff while doing the recording, maybe making some tutorials in the tutorial, <laughs> just like me. So yeah, and when you're done recording, you just click stop recording. And let's go to the folder where the video would be. That will be in videos in recording. And there it is. Double click it. And let's go and open Explorer. So while we're doing a tutorial, we can make a tutorial within a tutorial. Yeah. 
So yeah, that's about it. That's how to record your desktop using OBS Studio for free. So anyways, dudes, I'm new creator. See you later.